Hi, and welcome to House Blend on SCV TV, where Santa Clarita Valley musicians of all persuasions come to play their original material, and you and I get to know them a little bit better with an interview. I'm your host, Stephen K. Peoples, and thanks for dropping in. By the way, if you're a solo artist or have a group and you'd like to appear on the show, or if you're a fan and you'd like to come down and, and uh, join us for one of the tapings, stay tuned, because later on in the show, we're going to tell you how to do that. So for the next half hour here on House Blend, we're going to hear a rare, unplugged performance by reggae rock funk favorites Counterfeit Change and talk with lead singer KC about the band and their latest album. But first, we're going to check in with a fast-rising local singer-songwriter who you may recognize from Third Rock from the Sun. Some of her other acting credits include China Beach, ER, Cold Case, and the thriller feature of The Lost. Her name is Shay Astor, and she and her group are getting ready to perform a special benefit show at the House of Blues in New Orleans on Friday, September 10th. Proceeds from this concert for the Gulf will go to the nonprofit coalition to restore coastal Louisiana. Welcome to House Blend, Shay. Thanks for having me. All right, great. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to have you here. And we're also joined by Gary McGrath, who is uh, one of the guys who put the, uh, the concert together, and uh, by Ann Marita, who uh, worked with Gary on coordinating the, uh, the whole affair. Uh, we appreciate you guys all being here. Gary's a musician and leader of SCV-based uh, rock band, The McGrath Project, and he's also a Grammy-winning uh, producer. So it's, uh, it's real good to see you guys again. Good to see you. Now, Gary, along with Shay and your band, The McGrath Project, who else is going to be on the bill for the uh, concert? Well, we have Scarlett Palmers from the TV show Reba. She has a debut CD coming out that's uh, just a full rock and roll sound. Patrick Gallagher of Lost, of not Lost, sorry, of uh, <laughs> Glee is uh, going to be the master of ceremonies. And uh, it, so far, uh, we also have Fastball and Sean Mullins. They're going to be playing, and it's going to be a great evening. Now, how did you get involved with this? What was the impetus? My family, uh, my mother's side of the family was raised in Louisiana, and apparently I have some deep roots uh, there as well with my own personal history. And I actually owned some property in New Orleans that got wiped out during Katrina. And it just, the, the Gulf Coast growing up in Texas and doing stuff in Louisiana is, is very near and dear to my heart, and to actually see news report after news report for months and months and months and nothing going on to help it other than everybody just pointing fingers uh... it just angered me and i spoke with shay about it and she felt the same way and so did Anne marita and so did a lot of other people that uh... helped contribute such as uh... mickey dolans and dick dale and so we put all the stuff together Fantastic. Now, Gary, how do we find out more about the coalition and the concert? You can uh, go to www.crcl.org for the coalition. And for the uh, actual concert, it's gbrecordsconcertforthegulf.com. Okay. And for those of us who can't make it, uh, we could still donate. Oh, we yes. could still help out. And yes. how would we do that? The same uh, way? You can go to either website, and there's a link for donate. And you can click on it and do a donation. It's a great cause. Fantastic. Now, Shay, among the songs that, uh, that we're going to hear on, uh, on this benefit is one that you're going to play for us today. That's right. That's great. It's, uh, it's called Resign. Yes. Well, what can you tell us about it? Well, Resign is really a story that I think a lot of girls can relate to, which is just about getting to a point in a relationship where you've taken everything that you can take, and you just give up, and you've had it, and it's over, and you have that moment. That's what the song's about. I resign. I'm done. That's right. Over fini. Yeah. Gone. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, we'd love to hear you uh, perform it now. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, here on House Blend, here's Shay Astor with her group playing Resign.
On House Blend here on SCV TV, that was singer actress Shay Astor with Resign. Now, Shay, that's going to be on your uh, first album, right? Blue that's Music? Right. Blue Music. All right, it, it, you're, that's actually out, right? Um, the EP is yes. out, which has Resign on it, but the full length record, Blue Music, it'll be out in a couple weeks, two For weeks. Very, it'll be up soon. On it'll iTunes. be up soon. All right, now always check iTunes and SheaAstermusic.com. It'll it'll let you know when it's there. All right. Well, you guys are working together on the project, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Great. And uh, so, as far as um, how you guys connected, how how do you how do you well, find I'll out tell, about each other? How you, did you, you know? Can tell the clean story. I'll, I'll tell <laughs> mine to myself. I'll tell my side of the story because my side of the story goes like this. I went on my MySpace, which is MySpace.com/SheaAstermusic. You can always find me there, and. I had an email from Gary, whom I'd never heard of or met, um, saying, I'd like to you know, book some shows with you and I'm interested in your music. And we got on the phone and he said, I actually am restarting an indie record label and you know, I'm interested. And we had a conversation and whatever. And he said, um, I actually heard about you through Mickey Dolenz, who's a monkey, for those of you who don't know. Really awesome and totally crazy because I was like, I don't know Mickey Dolan. How random is that? It was totally random. He said apparently he'd seen you play or he heard your music or something, and he said to me, you know, this chick is great and you should check her out. And so, thanks, Mickey mm -hmm. Dolan. So. Yep. Is that how it happened? <laughs> uh, I was working with a lot of different stuff with different members of the Monkees, and uh, Mickey's manager knows that I was a big fan of Third Rock from the Sun, and uh, apparently Mickey told him about Shay, and he. Uh, called me up when we were discussing doing some stuff with Mickey with uh, some concerts and he said by the way if you're starting your record company you need to do you know who Shay Astor is and I said why yes I do my brother and I were big fans <laughs> <laughs> and he said well she does music and you gotta you gotta hear it and so I said okay and a few days later I, I googled her and found her and listened to a, a few tracks I went wow this is good and you never know who runs the sites. You don't know if it's them. You don't know if it's a manager. You don't know if they're fake. Because two sites that I found did not go to you. <laughs> and uh, posers, posers, posers. And uh, but we we talked on the phone and had a great conversation. And it's 
it's been great. Now, your album is all original material, right? No yes, covers, yes. no nonsense. No. Okay, and these are all songs that you write over, or, or you, that you wrote over a period of how long? Uh, I would say the songs are over a period of about two years that I wrote those songs. Okay, so they're relatively recent. Yeah. But your acting career and your music career have kind of paralleled each other for some time now. You actually got uh, started in, on the musical path, what, like mid-90s? Well, it's interesting because what happened was I, I was always an actress since I was a little kid. And then in the mid-90s when I was doing Third Rock and working with a lot of charity organizations, I was randomly asked to perform concerts, which was strange for me because I didn't think of myself as a singer. But I did some charity concerts. We did you a concert. Know. Yeah. We did a concert in Central Park. We did a concert at the Salt Palace in Salt Lake City. Um, I did a concert on a cruise to Mexico. And just, you know, it was the first time I really started playing music and singing. And I wasn't writing songs back then, but it kind of whet my appetite for music in that way. Well, the response from the audience uh, was positive enough to. Yeah. Think you maybe I ought to be pursuing this uh, a little more seriously, yeah? Started saying to me, you know, you you have a talent for this, and it might be something you want to explore. And I was like, no, no, forget it, forget it. And then slowly, I just began to take it seriously. And you know, I love music as a fan. Right. And it just started to organically emerge from me. So. Well, now at this point in your career, what's 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 on first, acting or singing, or is it still? Uh, they, balancing act between the two? Or? Yeah, they kind of run concurrently, and um, it just depends on what's happening at the moment. It can go either way, you know, in any season and any day, it's a different thing. But I mean, they're both great loves, so I just try to put my passion into both of them. Where will we see you next on the little or the big screen? Well, it's always difficult to say when films are going to come out. <laughs> but I have a film coming out. Um, hopefully in the next six months or so called Bob's New Suit. Ah, uh, yes. Be. Heard about that in production. What's, what's the story about real quickly? Well, it's just a family story. It's about a family and, and all of them going through some, you know, personal changes and how the family grows. And, you know, my character is actually um, a transgendered woman. Very interesting. Making the transition to being a man. That must have been a challenge as an actress. I'm a man in that movie. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I want to get back to the golf thing uh, really fast. Um, Anne, you were involved in coordinating the project also. How, how, uh, what role did you play? I have been the press person to go to. I've been yep. writing press releases, making posters, booking interviews, all of the above and more. <laughs> yeah, just helping to get the word out, right? Yeah. Okay, great. Shay, uh, how, do, how do people find out more about you and, uh, and your music? You mentioned you have a MySpace page before. Yeah. We'd like to, like to let people know where, uh, where they can find your, uh, your latest album. You can always find me on myspace.com slash shayastermusic. You can find me at shayastermusic.com. Um, I'm on Facebook, friend me. Um, you can also go to iTunes, type in Shay Aster, and buy my EP. My record will be up soon, and you know, let me know what you think. All right, super, excellent. Thanks to Shay and Gary and Ann for joining us on House Blend. Be sure to check out Shay's Blue Music album on her MySpace page, and the September 10th Concert for the Gulf concert at gbrecordsconcertforthegulf.com. We'll be back with more of our show right after this short break. Like you have not found your place But if you feel that you're You feel you're by yourself Why don't you open up both eyes And say hi to everyone else